Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. This is your host, JC, Everyday Thoughts. Everyone gather around, should be a good one today. I am a professional life coach, motivational speaker, a man of God, a husband, and most importantly, a brand new father. So congrats to my wife and I. Today's topic is, most men have unrealistic expectations of women. Well, why is this? Why do we have unreal expectations as men? Well, for starters, I think a lot of men, they've grown used to accustomed just to seeing women do everything. Um, and they really expect their wife or their significant other to represent that. I mean, they grew up in probably like a single parent home where they seen a mom work two, three jobs, and they feel like the woman's supposed to work as much. But also too, they want her to cook, clean, really be a servant to, to a man. And to me, that's not really right. It's not really balanced. It's not fair to her. And also it's not fair to you to have the expectation of a woman. You know, anytime you get into marriage, anytime you get in a relationship, um, you're supposed to be able to connect with each other and be able to take loads off each other. You know, nobody wants to go into a relationship or a woman, she don't want to go to a relationship or marriage and she feel like she got to do all the work. You know, what's the, point, what's the point of doing all the work if she's in a relationship and she has a partner? You know, key word, she has a partner. So if she has a partner, she should be doing your job and then also helping out when it's necessary. You know what I'm saying? And like the more you do as a man, the less stress you put on her, the less stress she has to do test in her own life you know what i mean and that really makes a woman feel weakened when she feels like she has to take one away of the world and like i said that's not fair on her you know we have to do a lot more be more active uh and within our session within our days within our weeks and months um it's time just allowing a woman to do everything and also too you know taking care of the kids um you got to make sure you put in effort as well, too. You know, it's a team, it's a team effort, it's a team system. And um, every, every, every man has to help out. You know, I always look at it like a team, like you're playing football, playing basketball. You know, every man has their position, everyone has their job, everybody has responsibilities. And the team can't thrive, the team can't win unless everyone is fully committed. That's the same way in, in a marriage mm -hmm. or in a relationship. You know, both parties have to be committed to each other and want to see each other grow and thrive. And if you're not willing to put the work in, then like I said, no need to be in a relationship or marriage, you know, point blank. But yeah, like I said, a lot of men, they have really, uh, <laughs> I've listened to invitations of a woman and it's just sad to me to actually think that a lot of, a lot of men feel that way. I remember I was talking to someone uh, this is something about Tom Brady wanting to go back to the NFL, and he was saying, "Well, his wife, his his wife wants him to stay. His wife wants him to be home with his children." And I'm like, "Why is that bad? You know, why is that bad for a man to want to retire and be home with his kids? There's nothing wrong with that. Especially you've been working or you've been at that type of level for 20 plus years. I mean, there's nothing wrong with." you know, giving your wife a break with the children every now and then. So, like I said, it's just a mentality of men that we have to get better with because a lot of men, we fail to realize that, hey, you know, the weight should not be on her every day. You know, let's take some of the responsibility, if not more of the responsibility, you know, to make, to make life easier. And the best slogan is, you know, happy wife, happy life. And that means, hey, I gotta, Make sure she prioritizes. Cause my thing about my wife is that she gonna make sure everybody eating. Like right? she'll make sure the kids eat. She gonna make sure the family gonna eat. So I gotta do my part, and everything everything around me is gonna thrive. So that was the kind of mindset you gotta have within marriage or relationship. That you know, it's not about it's not about you or her. It's about teamwork. What can we do collectively to make sure when we're getting our needs met and collectively just growing and thriving to be better, you know? Why try to be stagnant? Why try to be lazy and ju just put all the weights on her and you just feel like you don't have to do anything? No, it's teamwork. It's all about commitment. It's all about um, that camaraderie towards each other. And like I said, you love each other. You got to keep pushing each other to do better. 
Um, she, she may find some ways that she looking at you and be like, hey, you know, I suggest you, you know, go work out or hey, go, go, get, you know, go eat something healthy. And you may be resistant to her, towards that because you're so used to doing it your way. But you kind of realize, you know, marriage and a relationship, it's not your way or her way. It's about your y'all's way of doing things. So you take input from both both sides and come to an agreement. But yeah, that's all I gotta say though. I mean, we have really unrealistic expectations of women. And to me, like I said, it's just sad. I mean, you wanted to cook, clean, take care of the kids. You want her to work eight, 10 hours a day. Uh, still want her to have energy to have sex with you. Uh, you still want her to have energy to, you know, keep up with her body and stuff. So it's just a lot of expectations that men have that's really unrealistic. and. We as men, we just have to do better and just be a better help to her. You know what I mean? But yeah, though, until next time, I'm out. JC, Everyday Thoughts. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Instagram page, uh, TikTok, uh, whatever uh, media you use. Make sure you you know check me out. And I will greatly, greatly appreciate it and greatly appreciate any comments you have below for our next video. But until next time, I'm out. JC, Everyday Thoughts.